Hello boys and girls, today we're in Bikini Bottom and outside the homes of Spongebob Squarepants and Patrick Starr. But they're not here! They're here, stood at a bus stop, next to the chum bucket, opposite the Krusty Krab, with Patrick desperately needing the toilet. You may be wondering why they're not taking their car. Well, they were. Patrick was half asleep this morning and put it in reverse and accidentally crashed into Squidward's phone. Luckily no one was hurt. So, as you can see, their suitcases are packed, and they're just about to go on holiday. Patrick has managed to get hold of some very cheap flight tickets, but they do have to travel all the way to Duplo International Airport. I just hope for their sake that this is the only reason the tickets are so cheap. Oh, and Gary unfortunately isn't coming with them. SpongeBob wants him to stay at home and look after the place. Poor Gary. Okay, gentlemen, after an hour's wait, I think I can finally hear a bus coming. Okay, SpongeBob, if you load the luggage on board, Patrick, you can get going to the toilet. As uh, SpongeBob. How? Never mind. And so Patrick and SpongeBob departed on the Bikini Bottom submarine bus and started their journey to the airport. And now that Patrick had been to the toilet, he was feeling much, much better. Just look how much happier he is. It was going to take over a day to get there, and the bus needed to travel throughout the night. Now normally if you're travelling on an overnight coach, you might be worried the bus driver could fall asleep at the wheel. But with Spongebob and Patrick snoring, there was no chance. When they woke up in the morning, they weren't in Kansas anymore. Or Bikini Bottom for that matter. This Duplo land was a very peculiar place. It just got weirder and weirder. Until eventually they arrived at the Duplo International Airport bus terminal. I didn't even know this place existed. But just look how busy it is. And here we have the bus driver now, leaving them at the airport and driving straight back the way he came to Bikini Bottom. And so Spongebob and Patrick were left standing at gate one of the airport, where they spoke to a very nice young lady called Jean. She informed them that she was in charge of gate number one, and they had to make their way to gate 101. Given that this was such a vast distance, she very kindly offered to lend them her motorised baggage trolley. And so Spongebob and Patrick loaded up their luggage and started their trek across the airport. They did take the wrong turn to start with, but soon they were back on track, travelling past all the main planes and single-seaters, straight past VIP down the far end, and even past a field of flowers, until eventually they arrived at their gate. Well boys, well done, you made it. It's been a bit of a holiday already getting here, but also Patrick, I think I can see the reason why your ticket was so cheap. Here's your plane in about 20 pieces. But don't worry, I can use a little magic and get this sorted for you in a jiffy. Et voila. Right Bernie, if you could load up the aeroplane and take it off to the runway, I'll go and have a quick chat with SpongeBob and Patrick. Right, well, given that we've just had to build the plane, I assume a pilot to fly it is probably out of the question. So, do either of you two have any flying experience? You do, Patrick. You know how to take off and fly a plane, but not how to land one. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Let's just worry about that when we get to the other side. Okay, boys, it finally looks as though we can get going on holiday. So if you just make your way over to the plane and load your luggage on board, we can get on our way. Wow. Just wow. I've only seen baggage handling skills like that by the professionals. You boys just have natural talent. Right, Patrick, if you want to head to the cabin and familiarise yourself with the controls, 
I'll speak to the air traffic controller on the gate and clear the runway for takeoff. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Oh no! Patrick's taxiing down the runway and he's left SpongeBob behind! But don't worry, SpongeBob, I have a plan. It involves this. And this. So get ready, my spongy little friend. You're about to experience Mac 4. Patrick, pop the roof. That's it, SpongeBob, floor it. Now hit the Mac 4 button and jump. Phew! You just made it in time, SpongeBob. Well done. And yes, that is my arm. You see there. Patrick doesn't have a clue how to take off in a plane, but I haven't got the heart to tell him. Just look how happy he is. Now the only problem we've got here is because the roof is off, the cabin is now depressurized. So we're going to have to fly at low altitude. But there are its advantages. Patrick can now stand up properly in the cabin. And we get to have a beautiful view of what's beneath us. So, as our heroes fly through the sky, Patrick can't help but think he's forgotten something. And SpongeBob, well, he's still recovering from his Mac 4 experience. Oh, and you'd have thought Patrick would have used all the modern instruments on the plane to navigate where he was going. But as he was flying so low, he decided to look out of the window instead and follow landmarks. So this ended up taking them over Adventure Bay, where they could see a rescue going on down beneath them. Oh look, it's the Paw Patrol and Captain Turbot. Over the top of Pirate Bay, where they could see the Tomy Aquafun pirate ship. And finally off the coast of Neverland, where they saw their friend, Captain Hook. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good at all. Yep, I know what it is you forgot, Patrick. Jet fuel. Hold on tight, engine one's out. Engine two is out. Hello, gravity. Okay, boys, we're going down. There's only one thing we can do. We're gonna have to make a jump for it. Are you ready? They were flying that low, it was just a small jump into the water. Well, SpongeBob and Patrick have to be the two luckiest characters around. Not only did Patrick fly in completely the wrong direction, and crash land within a stone's throw of Bikini Atoll, but Grandpa Pig, Pepper and George happened to just be sailing in the area where they landed. And being the kind souls that they are, they offered to give them a lift along the final leg of their journey. Whilst on board, Patrick asked Grandpa Pig if it would be possible to have a go at steering his boat. Grandpa Pig thought for a while, but as Grandpa Pig looked to his left and could see the evidence of Patrick's aviation skills floating in the water, and to his right where he could see Patrick's previous nautical skills, he kindly declined the request. Sorry Patrick. And so they reached Bikini Atoll and dived back home to the safety of Bikini Bottom. Now that our heroes have returned home, let's reflect on what we've learned today. Well, for starters, SpongeBob, he's learned not to leave Gary at home with an empty bowl of food, because Gary ate the entire contents of his house whilst he was away. That's right, he ate all of SpongeBob's bedroom furniture, the stove, the bathtub, and even the entire contents of SpongeBob's lounge, including his TV. Nice one, Gary. And as for Patrick, well, He's learned absolutely nothing. He's just gone out and bought himself the cheapest, oldest camper van he can find. It's a very nice camper van, mind. Just look at it. Isn't it lovely? And it comes with everything you'd expect, including two deck chairs and a table. Not to mention a kitchen, sleeping area and bathroom. But I think we've had enough fun for today, don't you? Maybe another time. Oh, and did I forget to say that Patrick's already damaged the wheel arch on the way here? This doesn't bode well. And as for Squidward, well, you'd swear by now he would have considered moving house. I mean, just look how lucky SpongeBob and Patrick were. The sinking plane debris completely missed their homes and migrated towards Squidward's home like a magnet. I don't know about you, but I think that looks like a modern art masterpiece. Especially with one of the wheels stuck out the roof. 
but I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Better luck next time, Squidward. Well, boys and girls, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching, and see you again soon. Toodle pip. <laughs>